Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike Wilkinson from fstoppers.com and I've got with me the Low Pro Rover Pro 35L uh, backpack and I'm gonna take a few minutes and just kind of go over some of the main features and then a little bit later I'll have some uh, photos and video from uh, field testing using this backpack in West Virginia to uh, do a shoot with some rock climbers. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is that this is more of a traditional backpack, like in the backpacking and hiking sense. So on the wearer's side, you've got really large, comfortable straps, and you've got the uh, waist belt here with a big buckle right here. And this is actually adjustable, so there's Velcro straps on the inside, and you can actually pull this out and slide these straps up and down if you're taller or shorter. We've got you know water pockets and straps, buckles on each side. But really one of the cool things about this pack that makes it for photographers and videographers is that um, you can get into the main compartment through zips on the front here. So if I go ahead and unzip this, this actually gives me access to the main compartment. But on this backpack, it comes with already this insert right here, which I'll go ahead and just take right out. It comes with this insert, and this is what you can keep all of your photo and video gear in to keep it dry and safe and padded. So you can see I've got my GoPro, a couple lenses, a viewfinder, I've got a little case that comes with it. It's got my batteries and memory cards, I've got my body and another lens in there. So this is all held in pretty securely. I can put in some filters here and some other uh, odds and ends. So I can actually leave this out if I just wanted to use this for hiking or for a day trip or what have you. So that's pretty cool. Um, so that just slides in right inside the main compartment so I don't have to go digging through my bag uh, when I want to get to my stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, obviously on the bottom you've got some buckles and some straps if you want to put your sleeping uh, pad, uh, if you want to put a tent, a sleeping bag. We've got hooks to hang some other gear off of here. We've got a stretchy pocket in the back right here. You can put a water bottle or first aid kit in it. So. Really nice looking, uh, well-featured bag. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some clips now from uh, West Virginia where I had this out on a shoot and show you how it performed. So the first thing that I had to do was prep for this trip. Now, the kind of gear that I needed to use included rock climbing equipment, hiking equipment, all the photography gear, as well as video gear. So you're talking helmet, rock climbing shoes, quick draw, rope, as well as lenses, camera body, filters, tripod, plus I need essentials, so I need water bottle, first aid kit, snacks, things like that. So there were three single day trips that I did and I was out the entire day uh, hiking out a couple miles in the morning and then coming back to the truck a couple miles uh, in the evening uh, after climbing and shooting all day. In West Virginia, there's several different climbing walls and the approaches can kind of vary from just hiking down dirt trails and then walking through some forest trails to some pretty serious technical kind of hikes. So hiking with the pack, it was really comfortable even though I actually overloaded the pack quite a bit. And on the third day when I packed it properly and I didn't have it crazy overloaded, it felt great and I felt like I could hike on it all day. So after we had finished the hike and got to the wall, I would sit my pack down and then get into the uh, insert inside of the pack to get out my photography gear, which was you know, always really easy. The only thing I really had to say about this is I wish I had more room. I wish I had a bigger pack because I'd like to bring more stuff because it was so easy to get the equipment out there. So we just had about a mile's uh, hike in and I've been hiking with uh, this low pro pack right here and um, felt pretty comfortable, had it loaded down pretty good. Um, a lot of my just basic climbing stuff, I didn't bring any ropes or anything this time, but uh, it's pretty cool because I'm going to go set up for an interview with my talent right now and I can just bust open this main compartment and get right to that uh, insert that I was showing you guys earlier. Open this up and you know, here's my batteries and memory cards, eyepiece get right to my camera 
uh, real easy. Got my tripod on the side. So overall, things seem to be working out uh, pretty well. For three full days, the pack was comfortable, and I hiked several miles each day over rough terrain, and the Rover Pro pack was essential in allowing me to do that. I think for doing rock climbing projects like this, I would want to go with the larger model pack, and I would be good to go. This one got the job done, but you know I had to have a little help carrying some things. Uh, but even when I did have a heavy load, the pack still held up great. But I think with the larger model and having more capacity, I could bring more photography equipment and who doesn't want to do that? So in the end, I was able to get the job done and the bag was essential in me being able to do that and have all that gear. And the photography looks great, the video looks great. Uh, everybody had a real fun time climbing and everybody was safe and I really can't ask for much more than that.